what's actually happening when we're high voltage testing? This is a question that's been asked based on a previous video. So what we're doing is testing every metallic part to every other metallic part. So we have this test chamber set up. We've connected these clips to line neutral and earth. In this one, it's the green yellow because it's earth show. And then we're making sure that the other end are not touching each other. We're then going to energize these. And when it's earth show, it's 3000 volts for five minutes. If there's any electrical defect inside, we'll get a burnout and the cable will fail and it then has to go and be removed. Let's go and take a look at the rig and how we set it up. So these tests are at high voltage. So the first thing we need to do is close the gates and all the interlocks. And after that, we can energize it. So down here, we can select which color we want to test. So in this case, we're going to test the neutral, which is the blue. So we're going to select the blue core. This is already set up for the right test conditions. So this is 3000 volts for five minutes. So with that, we can just press go. This will now ramp up. The beacon lights up to show that the cable's under test and there'll be a timer in there. So in five minutes time, this will come down and if the cable's passed, it'll still be being tested and we know we've got a successful cable test. So once that test is completed on all three cores, so we're testing every metallic part to every other one, the cable tester will then issue it with a high voltage pass stamp. And this 10,000 meter length of Earthshore 2.5 is ready for final winding. 